Is it possible to realize a simple partimento like Fenerolis Book 1, Number 4 as a trio sonata? Let's discover it together in this video. Welcome to this new video, I'm Riccardo Semusicus Practicus and here on the web I want to give you all my knowledge and all the secrets I know about early music. Partimento, composition, harmony, counterpoint and more. In this video we're gonna realize a simple partimento like Fenerolis number 4 from the first book as a true sonata in a more complicated way of that we usually realize it. Before starting I invite you to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more video and let's start. So, how to do that? First of all, let's analyze the bass. The key is A minor. In a common time, this partimento starts with the chromatic bass line, that is the lamento bass. We call this section theme, because upon that we play the main theme of our trio sonata, or that is followed by a cadence in A minor. Then we can see like a little sequence, not so regular. Upon this sequence we can play imitation following the numbers arriving to the suspended cadence to G. From that point a little episode in C major starts, we can imitate with the two voices the 16th movement and play the cadence to C at the end of this section. A little passage in the bass from C to C sharp bring us to D minor. Then we find the lamento in D minor, so we can play the main theme, maybe inverting the two hands. The section concludes with the cadence to D minor. We meet now a little conjunction that bring us to the first big sequence that is called Monte. Monte is a sequence that repeats itself one tone up. We can invent a pattern consisting in an imitation between the right hand and the left hand. And then we repeat this pattern a tone up as the Monte wants. At this point we meet another time the lamento bass, followed by a cadence in A minor. In the following section the bass modulates to E minor, making a play between the tonic and the dominant. We realize this passage with imitation and the final cadence to E minor.
After that, a sequence called Fonte follows the E minor section. The Fonte is the opposite of the Monte. The Fonte is a sequence that repeats itself a tone down. I will talk about Monte and Fonte in other videos. This bar in C major, thanks to the B flat, brings us to the following section that is another monte. We can play this monte inverting the two hands then of what we did before, maybe adding also some diminutions. And finally, another time the lamento bass in A minor with the final cadence, that is a double cadence. We play the main theme on the bass line and we realize this cadence as I explained in a special video about cadences in the Galan style. Link in description. Now let's write the realization of this partimento and let's listen to it from the beginning.
Well, for this video is all. I want to give you for free my realization of this partimento. You find the download link in the description. If you want to see more contents like that on my channel, I invite you to support my activity on my Patreon. Because creating this video requires a lot of ideas, time, energy. And I'm very happy to do that for you. But by supporting me on Patreon, you can really help me and you can have the access to many exclusive contents like improvisation elements, weekly exclusive videos about improvisation and you can download all the didactic PDF of all my videos and more. Before greetings, I want to thank all those who are already supporting my project on Patreon. I am really grateful to you. Thank you. And if you want to learn Partimento, Harmony, Composition and Early Music Theory, you can contact me for online lessons. On my website at this page, you can contact me by email and WhatsApp. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel, activate the bell, give me your gamma wood and see you in the next one. Bye!